Jung Yong Chuan sells heat, red chili peppers grown in a desert oasis in northwestern China. Most of our products go to South Korea, he says. Some go to Japan, Singapore. Jung's knowledge of the outside world is a bit sketchy. When we asked him about the president of the United States, it was a toss-up between Clinton and Gorbachev. <laughs> But he did know the ancient Silk Road passed right through his hometown of Turpan. At the height of the 5,000-mile-long trading route, China prospered by selling silk, paper, and furs to the West in exchange for gold, glassware, and Buddhism. Now China again stands at the crossroads of a new trade route. The country's $1.4 trillion export industry has made it the third biggest economy in the world. Some things have barely changed along the old Silk Road. The markets still resound with a mix of Chinese and Central Asian languages. And silk is still a major commodity in stores. But life has gotten faster in the past two millennia. We're on the main expressway across Gansu province, which approximately follows the route of the old Silk Road. Except our car has been traveling at about 75 miles an hour. The old caramel caravans used to travel at the more leisurely pace of three miles an hour. There are still camels in China's northwest. Some even carry foreigners. But it is these 30-ton trucks that now carry most of China's merchandise. Zhang Jianjun is hauling electrical equipment from Jiangsu to Urumqi, a three-day trip. Since he started driving trucks, the roads have completely changed. Back then, he says, we rarely drove on expressways. Now we drive on them almost all the time. In fact, in the last 20 years, China has built 18,000 miles of expressways. Pollution was not a problem in the Silk Road era. Today, China is the world's biggest emitter of greenhouse gases. But towards the end of our journey, we came across these wind farms. Small compared to China's overall energy needs, but a start. And we're pretty uh, proud of being a part of this you know, contribution to reducing pollution while maintaining the country's economic growth. Just like today, China was changed in the era of the Silk Road by opening up to foreign merchandise. It was changed even more by letting in foreign ideas. And that too could happen again. Terry McCarthy, CBS News, Turpan, China.